Okay, welcome to another Visual Basic tutorial on C++ um, and Visual Basic. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you some more advanced coding, including back buttons, forward buttons, and such like that. And I'm also going to be adding another advanced thing you can add to your browser. Um, adding panels. Okay. So, um, first of all, uh, once again, to download uh, Visual Basic, it's Microsoft.com slash express slash download, and then you just download this one, Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. Okay, so open it up. This is our project from previous before. I've made a little bit of changes to it to make it easier for my tutorial. Um, what the heck? Okay. Um, um, first of all, uh, if you, what I didn't go over in other tutorials was I forgot to tell you to put tabs. You don't, no, not everyone wants a tabbed web browser, and, uh, but you might as well anyway. So this is the tab control. Now, here we have all of our buttons and everything. I'm just going to select everything and then I'm going to copy it and now delete add a panel tab control and now let's dock it and now let's paste that back in there so there we have it our stuff is back there okay so wait not quite like it was though wait okay um this needs to go let me undock this first of all none Where'd it go? Okay, this is our thingy. That's right, I didn't put one in. Okay, so we have our panel up here, and we need to dock it. And then we have our web browser, which we need to also dock. But not like that. We need to do dock. And now we need to undock it and then resize it so it fits up there like that, but it doesn't go behind that. Okay, so now you have panels, but you will notice that page 2 does not have anything on it. Now for page 2, you are going to have to add everything that is in here. So what you'll do is you just select it. Once again, select everything, or I already have it copied, so just do what I did. Paste to select everything by the way I used um, I used control I pressed control I selected it pressed control and it would allow me to select multiple things like that the separators and everything now um, notice that you have to undock this again and just change it back to how you wanted it and such just dock this back again at the top resize it and there you have it now getting on to our other part before I run out of time b um, add a button and then uh, I taught in another video how to add icons so just view that video if you don't know how pick a picture or an icon you created I'm gonna be using the back button and press OK and now let's double click on that now what you want to do is do web browser dot and now go back it's as simple as that
Oh, I'm in web browser one. Go back. There we go. Oh, I forgot to put in all that. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll do that later. Okay, um. Now, just uh, add another button. And now for the stop button, because I always do stuff. I made an icon. You can also make an icon for this, like I said in another tutorial. And now, double click on it and do web browser dot stop web browser one sorry I keep screwing up now go back to that add another button make this one the forward button import okay and double click on it web browser dot go forward ah, web browser one close those up now add another one import refresh button my refresh button is really stupid to tell you the truth I can never draw a good one of those ever <sighs> open okay now double click on that and final what what the no double click on this whoops sorry about that <sighs> I have to make a new button go ahead and keep that there I guess and that can be the I'll make this one the forward button and for the refresh button <sighs> just cut this I guess so we can use it for the forward button and now put web browser dot refresh web browser one sorry okay so now we got this one we'll put that on there and we have all the setup now but what I didn't do earlier is I forgot to make this do web browser one dot navigate strip button one or four there and dot text I went over this in a different video there now we can test it out so just uh, debug it now and we'll have to click this because I haven't put in a main thing and apparently this is not web browser one I need to rename that. Okay, so, oh yeah, this one is web browser one. Sorry about that. I'll just rename it to two. Or three. Now, go back to here. Change this to number one. You probably won't mess up like me, so you'll be okay. So you get the idea. Cre um, create all this on one tab two. You can leave blank if you want. I was just showing you how you can uh, use that one, but you know, you you don't even need tabs in the first place. But I I like them. Okay, so now let's test it out. Debug. This. Okay, now go here, and it'll take web browser one to the website I put in <sighs> it's loading uh, oh it still registers this is web browser one okay it doesn't matter anyway and then you can do list 
And now if I go and go back, it'll make this go back to the page it was before. So, lose. see, you, you get the picture. The, those were supposed to be over here, but it does the basic same thing. What I want to know is why that's not working, though. It's probably not working because... Well, it doesn't matter. I'll just make this. Okay. Okay, so, um... We covered the panels. Fresh. Stop. Back. Forward. Okay. And I guess I will see you in the next tutorial. Um, signing off.